All right, man, this 44 Magnum packs a punch. All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are back out at the range with the Smith & Wesson 629 44 Magnum, and I have made some changes to it. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram and stuff, you've already seen these changes because I do post pictures and stuff. But what we got here is, as you can tell, a new set of grips and a new front sight on this thing. So today I'm just out here at the range doing the first shooting with it, um, with the new additions. And I thought I'd bring the cameras along, bring you guys along so you guys can see uh, the first shots with it. I was gonna show you guys the new upgrades and, uh, and all that stuff. But we did get a new set of wood grips and a new fiber optic front sight. So I got a couple speed loaders loaded up and uh, we're just gonna keep shooting this thing and having a little bit of fun. But uh, one thing I can say right off the bat is uh, the grips that I had on this thing before, the originals and the Hogue Mono grips were rubber. These are hardwood, and yes, these do hurt. <laughs> they really do, but we're gonna keep shooting and have fun because I love shooting this gun. All right, six more down, and um, this is the first 12 shots that I've shot with this thing since the new fiber optic front sight, and uh, it seems to be about right on. I mean, I've got a target set up down there. Of course, I'm a little bit <laughs> all over the target, but that's just me, um, you know, not shooting these things very well yet. But uh, but that's getting better, and it's you know it's all over the target. It's not like it's way off one side, way off the other side, up down, whatever. It's shooting. Um, pretty much where I'm aiming at, so very happy with that. Um, but I gotta say though, guys, these wood grips, they hurt, but boy, do they look good. These are the Aaron's grips, Kim Aaron's, I think is what they're called, very nice hardwood. These are the, uh, oh, what's the name of those things? Mora Moradillo, I do believe is the name. I'll annotate it if I'm wrong, but that is the Moradillo grip this is a round butt with the finger grooves no checking or anything like that back strap is exposed it is a two-piece grip and uh, the front sight that we're using is a uh, a high vis fiber optic sight and i didn't do a video installing these or anything because i'm sure most of you guys know how grips go on and all that but i am going to show you uh the front sight how this was installed and you'll see why i didn't do a video on it because it really does take 10 seconds to do but I got one more speed loader right here loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and shoot these six and maybe some more, but uh, like I said, just out here having fun trying out the new stuff for the 629 and thought I would bring you guys along, but let's go ahead and shoot these uh, double action. All right, so actually, you know, the group's not too bad. Of course, I know you guys can't see it, uh, but it's staying all on that. I think I got one off. That was me pulling it. But uh, but yeah, so far, the sight's right on. The grips are working out well, other than being very, very brutal. But uh, let me take my ears off real quick, and, uh, and we'll talk about this. This gun is safe and empty now. But like I said, these are the Kim Aaron wood grips. They are a two-piece. As you can see, it does have the screw through the center. Very nice finger grooves. It does feel really good in your hand, um, other than when you're firing it, because it's very brutal that way. But uh, has a very nice feel to it. The finger grooves feel good and very nice smooth finish on it. Like I mentioned before, the back strap is exposed. Uh, so yeah, it does have a really, really good look to it. Uh, so those are the grips. Now the front sight, like I said, are or is this high vis front sight with the green fiber optic in it. And the reason I didn't do a video on it it was very easy to change this thing, and I actually bought a package of number 54 drill bits and all that stuff, um, because that's normally what you gotta do. You gotta punch this pin out with a number 54 punch, put the new side in, then drill the sight, put the pin back in, all that, but I guess that's not the case for these uh, 44 Magnums, at least the 629 Classic models, but I'll try to show you here if you can see that. See how that sight's being pushed back? That pin that's in there is not actually through the sight. That is just holding the front lip of this sight, and this actually has a spring-loaded piece on the inside. So you just push this back, 
pull the front up out, put the new one in, and you're done. Very, very easy to do on these 629 Classics. Um, but yeah, so far, very happy with the sight, very happy with the grips, but I am going to tell you, I know I put them wood grips on my 686. We already did a video with that uh, coming out here and shooting it. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a card up in, the, uh, up in the corner of this video so you can go over there and watch that. Now, putting the wood grips on it and shooting full power 357s, didn't hurt a bit. I mean, barely noticeable between the wood and the rubber, but on this big boy, this stings. I'm not going to lie. I've put uh, 18 rounds through it, and uh, I can definitely feel it in my hand, but that is, I guess, a uh, trade-off that you're going to have to be willing to, uh, willing to accept, I guess, when you want to put on a set of these really nice uh, classic looking wood grips. And I had a feeling it was going to be, uh, be a little brutal, but <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell you it does hurt. Now, uh, if you had a glove on, it might be a little bit better, but I, I normally don't shoot with gloves unless it's cold out. So, uh, so I wanted to see how it was, and like I said, it does hurt. But I got these six rounds and then one single left. So let's go ahead and shoot these, finish off the box, and, uh, and all that. So here we go. You guys can see that. I wasn't even looking to see if I was in frame. Okay. Did you guys catch that flinch? <laughs> so I got one more round left. Let's go ahead and put that in there, fire it off. Here we go. Okay. So that's all the ammo I've got with me, so I am done shooting, but uh, kind of, I guess, first impressions of these new add-ons on the 629 Classic. I really do like it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the wood grips? Do you like the fiber optic sights? I think it gives it a very good look. The fiber optic, and today is a very overcast day uh, here in Indiana. This Over this weekend, we've been getting pounded with rain. Um, they're expecting us to have like five inches of rain within... I think just over the weekend, the river is supposed to raise like 27 feet within the next like 12 hours or something like that. So we're getting pounded with rain right now, but uh, we had a little bit of a break, so I figured I'd come out here. So it is a very gloomy, overcast day. Looks like it could start raining again at any minute, but I wanted to come out here and try it. Wanted to bring you guys along, but um, you, uh, if any of you guys run the Aaron's grips or let us know what wood grips you like to run on your uh, 44s or any of your revolvers and do you like the high-vis front sights all that type of stuff uh, But anyhow guys, that's all I got for you today. Just a quick fun video coming out here to the range to try out the new parts on the uh, Smith & Wesson 629 classic 44 Magnum 44 Magnum is a lot of fun to shoot guys It really is if you haven't shot one or haven't tried one. I highly recommend it I think you guys would really really like it. It really does pack a big punch uh, But anyhow guys, that's it and if you missed my video I did Monday um, we're doing a collaboration giveaway with Southeast Traders, NSR Tactical, and my local gun shop. And uh, we're giving away a Smith & Wesson MMP Shield brand new with an NSR Tactical inside the waistband holster. My local gun shop's throwing in a couple box of ammo. So we're doing a really awesome giveaway. I'll leave a link and a card so you guys can go over there and check that out if you haven't seen it already. If you would like to enter to win a brand new shield holster and some ammo to go with it. And also down below, I'm going to have links to my channel sponsors. We got Southeast Traders. They're an online forum for guns, accessories, outdoor stuff, and even automotive stuff. Automotive stuff. A uh, really great website with a lot of great people. I really do think you guys would like it. It's free to sign up. And over there, you can find some of these really awesome Southeast Traders hats for sale, all that type of stuff. And then we also have uh, my... Uh, local gun shop shots and shells uh, a couple friends of mine own it they're really great people have a great shop a lot of awesome prices if you're in the midwest indiana area i highly recommend going in there and checking them out or at least giving them a call i'll have their facebook page linked down below that uh, will have all their contact information i really do think you guys would like the shop uh, but anyhow guys i appreciate everybody watching i appreciate everybody subscribing and we'll catch you in the next one